Bryce Button is the product marketing manager for HAA Video Systems. Hello, Bryce. Welcome. Hi, Larry. Great to see you again. You have in your hands a brochure with the letters C-I-O-N on it, and we are very interested to learn what that is. This is our new baby. Oh, my goodness. It so looks for those beautiful. who are actually here at the show, just hold it up. It's the Scion. Uh, we, of course, have it on the stand. You want to tell us what it is first? Yes, we're going to go there. It's a brand new production camera. Oh. And what makes it special is the fact that it handles everything from true 4K to Ultra HD uh, to 2K to HD. And it's recording everything to ProRes, all the variations of ProRes. So whether you're doing 422, 44444, and it's all in a single unit with a wonderfully ergonomic body designed to put on your shoulder. So shoulder mount camera, bigger skill sets, which includes everything from scaling, uh, high frame rate, beautiful color work, and combine it all into something that's really going to be useful for the average uh, user. So it's really about the workflow. And with the key pro products, we'd already figured out how to get the ProRes workflow really simplified in terms of coming from the lens into post-production. Here with this camera, that literally puts us that one step closer. We no longer have to worry about what other things are coming to us before we encode it into ProRes. Even the raw uh, output that will be coming out of this camera, which is described as AJA raw in a cinema DNG uh, wrapper, uh, we're making that available to everybody. So all the partners can come to us for nonlinear editing systems, etc. cetera. Um, and the point is to just make the whole thing open. We don't pretend that we're going to make glass and lenses. We, we know there are plenty of good accessories out there, so we've got all the mounting points so you can take ARRI accessories, put them on the camera. Uh, we also realize, having watched an economy that's changed over the last few years, that budgets are not what they were. So if folks can use stuff that they already own, that's a very big part of the process. How do we get signals out of the camera? So there's a number of methods. You can uh, obviously record directly to the pack drive, which is effectively your SSD recording unit. Which is an external external drive. So you just basically have a camera, that, a cable that goes from the camera to the section. No, it's recording. built into the camera. It is? Yes. So you, you simply have a slot at the back end of the camera, pull the pack drive out of that, stick it into your Thunderbolt reader, and off you go. Um, and you, the drive itself is already HFS formatted, so you don't even have to format anything. And guess what? Your, uh, your clip names are actually named in English. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of practicality this is to this whole process. Uh, but in terms of external connectivity, we've got four 3G SDIs, so you can handle true uh, 4K monitors. We also have a 4K HDMI. We have an always-on HD SDI out down conversion, which is literally scaled from that sensor. So 4K scale to HD and it looks gorgeous. Uh, and then up front, we have uh, SDI and another HDMI connection, because of course people are going to have to mount monitors, they're going to have to mount viewfinders, that type of thing. How about Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt is there. Uh, Thunderbolt is on the back, and in fact, we pump uh, AJA RAW through it for 30 frames per second, 4K. Um, if you want, this camera has been designed for, uh, designed for high frame rate work as well, which is very important for sports. Uh, we support up to 120 frames per second at 4K. Now, should I only use this camera if I'm shooting 4K? Can I use it for something less? You definitely want to use it for something less. You want to use it for everything in between, too. For instance? So the point is that it's a 4K-capable sensor. When we, you shoot HD on it, which is what the majority of people are still going to be delivering for quite some time, we're actually doing a full-on scale, because this is the type of thing we've been doing for years, well, for the broadcasters. We're scaling that full 4K sensor down to HD, which allows us to oversample, as it's described, so you get a really rich HD image out of it. What, uh, what market have you designed this for? Who should pay attention? I mean, obviously everybody, but there's mm -hmm. certainly a market that you've got in mind. The guy that's working, you know, the guy, the guy who needs to go to work every single day, uh, pick up a camera and get on with it. Uh, one of the things I discovered very quickly when working with DSLRs as a form of shooting is that you can be in a location and spend twice as long putting the kit together to mount the DSLR to actually shoot with than the shooting itself, which makes no sense. And what does it cost? Well, here's the breakthrough. $8,995. $8,995 for yep. the camera body, yep. not the lens. And when is it available? This summer. 
So Which summer? This summer. This summer you're going to have it available? Yep. So, uh, I'm going to hold you to that now. I'm going to take notes. That's absolutely fine. If you go to the stand right now, you'll see production cameras working. So, and, and it's called the Scion, mm -hmm. C-I-O-N, it's from H-A-A. Where can people go on the web to learn more of what the product can do? Well, you'll definitely want to visit AJA.com today and watch all the juicy videos that give you a sense of just how wonderful this new product is. What and is of it that makes literature. you the most excited about it? Because I can see just by looking at you that this is an exciting thing. Because it's so many sensible, straightforward ideas brought together in a beautifully elegant package and I can get work done with it. Oh my God, isn't that wonderful? The website is AJA.com, AJA.com. Bryce Button is the Product Marketing Manager for AJA Video Systems. And Bryce, thanks for joining us today. Thanks again, Larry. Take care.